Hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Today for lunch, we're going to make some chicken wings, and I love chicken wings, so uh, we have a new air fryer. I'll show it to you. We've had it about, I don't know, two or three weeks. I've used it a lot for hamburgers and chicken wings, so I'm going to show you how I make my chicken wings, and uh, they are delicious. All right, first, uh, I'm going to show you how we season up our chicken wings, or how I season up my chicken wings. My wife does hers a little bit different, but I put some olive oil on it, and I, uh, I'm going to toss it around in that olive oil. Uh, I'm going to put a pinch of black pepper. Actually, I'm going to put two pinches of black pepper. I'm going to put three pinches of salt. In there I have some uh, smoked paprika I'm going to use some smoked paprika I'm going to throw probably about a half a teaspoon in there and a little cayenne pepper and I'm going to put probably about a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I have 10 wings right here. So that was the amount that I put in there for 10 wings. Okay, so I did three pinches of salt, three pinches of black pepper, uh, about a half teaspoon of, of paprika, and a half teaspoon of cayenne. All right, and I'm going to toss these around. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot with my air fryer, it lets you preheat. So I want to preheat and it will preheat on 400 it will preheat on 400 for five minutes okay which is a nice feature because when i put these wings in there after five minutes it's going to be nice and hot all right so i'm going to toss these really good make sure i have all my spices and they're really coated good with that olive oil now, the only negative feature to the air fryer that, to me, is that it will only hold about maybe 12 wings. If you get more than 12 wings in there, uh, it kind of crowds it and they don't get done as fast. So uh, that would be the only bad thing. But now, if you're cooking for two people, um, man, that thing, or if you're cooking an amount of food that will fit in there, it, it really does well. So I'm gonna let it heat up, I'm gonna wash my hands, and then we will check out, um, check these wings out. All right, guys, the preheat has gone off, and I'm going to put these in the air fryer. Now, I'm going to get something I can set this thing on because it's hot. The cool thing is this thing preheats. So, you can hear when you put them on there, hot. Try to space them out. where they're evenly spaced. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do, the last time I cooked these, I cooked them on 350. Um, but I had to cook them like 20 something minutes. I wanna cook them at a hotter temperature this time. So let's go temperature, and I wanna go, and I wanna cook them at about 400 and my time um, I'm gonna check them in 12 minutes okay so here we go we'll check them in 12 minutes see what they look like hey, while we're waiting on those to uh, to cook I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make my sauce that I'm gonna put in there I've got about a tablespoon of butter and again this is for 10 wings um, I'm going to add some sweet baby rays, you know, whatever kind of buffalo sauce it is you like, however hot you like it. Um, and I'm going to pretty much eyeball this. I want to make sure that I have enough in there to um, coat all my wings. And like I said, I've only got 10. So I'm going to coat them one time and put them back in to cook. And then I'm going to coat them again uh, when they come out and they're uh, finished. Now, I like to add a little bit of vinegar in this 
uh, we went to, me and my brother-in-law, went to a restaurant uh, in another state, which I will not name, and um, their wings were just fantastic. And you could really tell they had added vinegar. So I just added uh, probably at least a tablespoon of vinegar there uh, to this. It's really not going to change the taste any, and you really won't notice it as much as you think because it already has vinegar. That's one of the main uh, ingredients in uh, wing sauce is vinegar. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, besides having this butter in here, is I'm going to put a little bit of corn syrup in here because when I put these back in, I want to char these a little bit. So I'm going to put about, uh, let's see, that'd probably be a couple of teaspoons of that corn syrup, but I'm going to stir this around. The reason I want the corn syrup on there and the butter is because I want these wings to kind of blacken a little bit uh, when I put them in there the first time with this sauce on. I want it to actually, you know, burn, not really burn, but you know, I want a little color on these things when I put them back in and that sugar will help do that. All right, that's 12 minutes. Let's check them out. They are getting there, definitely. Okay, so I'm going to turn these over. They're going to have a nice crunch on them. And before, we always fried our wings. Like we would fry them twice. And I have made them in here where I fried them first and then finished them off in here. But the last time we used this, we decided that we were going to... Um, fry them twice. So, I'm sorry, last time we did them in here we decided we were going to just cook them in here the entire time. Okay, so you can see they got plenty of space between them. Now I'm going to run these another, uh, probably let's say seven minutes and then I'm going to check and see if they're ready for me to put some sauce on them. Same temperature. Four hundred time seven minutes. So we'll let them cook another seven minutes. Okay, so that's the seven minutes. Now, those look pretty crunchy. They're pretty done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put them in the sauce and then I'm going to put them back in there for about five minutes. I'll just take them and I've got this stirred up really good. And I'm just going to dip them in there and put them back in here. And hopefully with this sugar in there, this syrup and the butter We'll get a little bit of a scorch on them. Five more minutes. Oh, you still getting them? There are the whispering ladies. Whispering. All right, it's been five more minutes. And they got a little black like I wanted them to.
All right, guys. We've been talking about senior discounts. That's the ultimate senior discount. Make it yourself. Make it yourself. You get the best price you can get. These are nice and crunchy. And good. Nichols Retirement Empire. Retire if you can. Have a good day.